Hey folks, in this video I'm going to use SketchUp to show you how to make a part that fits into another part uh, using a photograph. In this case, I'm going to be designing a motor mount to put an electric motor into an electric motorcycle conversion. And I'm going to be using a photo that I borrowed from Ted Dillard, who built his own electric motorcycle. So I need to get SketchUp set up. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is set my unit. So I go to Window, Model Info, and I'm going to pick millimeters, and I'm going to pick 0, .00 millimeters. Uh, that's close enough for what we're going to be doing here. And then I'm going to use Layers, so I go to Window and Layers, and the default layer is Layer 0, and I'm going to add another one that's called Copy, and I'm going to add another layer called Mount. All right, so I'm just going to stay in layer zero right now. That's where the picture is going to go. Uh, you can see here's our three axes, and they're kind of off in an angle right now. And I want a front view, so I'm going to go to the front view and click that. And it gives me just a two-dimensional front view. I'm going to use the pan tool, which is this hand. You can also just hit H. I'm going to move the origin, the center, down to the left a little bit. Now I need to import my photograph. So I go to File import and I have two pictures this is the original and this is one that I lightened up a little bit I'm going to use that because it makes it easier to see the lines that I'm drawing over when you import the picture you need to make sure that you click use as image um, these other two options are for doing things differently from what we're going to be doing now so use as image and then double click the picture and it brings it in now I have a hold of the lower left hand corner of this picture I'm going to bring that over to the origin, and it just snaps into place. Click, oops, click, and start dragging away, and just drag the image to what seems like a pretty decent size. And click again, and there the image is now in SketchUp. Now I'm going to go over to the copy layer, so select that, and now what I'm going to do is I need to get this image to be rescaled so it's the actual size of the original bike frame. Now I happen to know uh, one of the measurements on this frame and that's between that hole right there and that hole right there. I happen to know those are 412 millimeters apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dimension that and then I'm going to rescale the photo until that dimension is 412 millimeters. So here's the details of how you do that. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in on each of these holes. Now you can use the zoom tool. You can zoom in and out like this. You can also use uh, the zoom window tool and zoom in directly on that hole right there. Um, my preferred way of zooming is actually just to use the scroll wheel on your mouse or your touchpad. And you can zoom in or out and it actually zooms to where your mouse cursor is. So I'm going to put the mouse cursor on that hole. I'm going to zoom in. Now what I'm going to do is grab the circle tool. I'm going to get as close as I can to the center of this hole. You click and then you start dragging and it makes the circle. So there we go and I'm going to double check. The reason I did this circle is because I want to make sure it's pretty well centered and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to grab my pan tool. Now I'm just going to hit H to get the pan tool. Pan over zoom into this hole, click circle, get about in the center, drag over, and click again. That looks pretty well centered too. Now if it wasn't centered, I could grab this object, take the select tool, or just hit spacebar to get the select tool, select it, and then grab the move tool, and you can click here and from where you click it moves uh, that circle so I can move it to the left or right but it looked pretty good where it was so I'm just gonna hit escape and get out of what I was doing All right, now I'll zoom back out pan over what I'm gonna do is grab the line tool which is this pencil right here I want to draw a line between the centers of these two circles so SketchUp tries to be smart, and it might find the center of this circle for me, but it's not really doing it. So what I'm going to do is zoom in, 
And the way to find the center of this circle is you kind of trace around the edge to a few points and then go for the center. And SketchUp is usually smart enough. It'll figure out what you're trying to do and find the center for you. So I click there. Now I zoom out again. And while I'm in the middle of drawing this line, if I hit H, I can grab the pan tool, pan over to this circle, hit escape, and it will go back to the line I was drawing again. So I'm going to do the same thing here, kind of trace around the edge and then go for the center. There it is. All right, then I hit escape to stop drawing lines. So now I've got a line between the centers of those two circles. I'm going to grab the dimension tool. I'm going to dimension the ends of that line. So there's one, and the tooltip says endpoint. I know I'm at the right place. Go to the other one. This time it says center because it's finding the center of the circle, but that's the same place. So I click there and start dragging the dimension away. Now, if I accidentally went like this, I don't know if you can see it, but the dimension is kind of going in the wrong direction. It's not parallel to my original line. So I want to drag over to the left a little bit, and then SketchUp will figure out what I'm trying to do. I'm just going to put the dimension right there for now. Then I'm going to zoom out, move it up a little bit. And I can't really see that dimension, so I'm going to grab the Move tool again, hover over the dimension so it turns blue, grab it, and just move it out into the white space so I can see it. So right now, SketchUp thinks that the distance between these two points is 233.80 millimeters. Now, I want it to be 412. So there's a couple ways you can do this. I'm going to put this um, everything down in the lower left. Take the Select tool, the hidden space bar, and I'm going to select everything. And then I'm going to use this, which is the Scale tool. Since everything is selected, everything will scale when I move this. So I'm going to grab this upper right-hand corner and start moving it. And it scales everything uh, proportionally. So as I'm moving this, you can see that dimension is actually changing. And one way I could do this is keep moving it until I get to 412 millimeters. The problem is SketchUp tries to snap to different points for some reason. And so you can never quite get it exactly to the dimension you want. So I'm going to do something a little bit differently. I'm going to hit Escape, stop doing what I was doing. I'm going to keep everything selected. And then I'm going to go over to my calculator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 412, which is the distance I know it needs to be, divide by 233.80, which is the distance it thinks it is. And what that gives me is the... Um, scale factor, it's really the percentage by which I need to change that image to get it to the real size. So it says 1.762 blah blah blah. So that's what I'm going to enter in a SketchUp. So I got to remember 1.7622, just taking the first four decimal places. So I go back into SketchUp, grab the corner and start moving it, and you can see down in the lower right hand corner it says scale and that scale factor is changing. Now with SketchUp, as you're changing something, if you just start typing, it will enter it into that box. So let me go back, because I already forgot what the number is, 1.7622. So I type 1.7622. You can see it appears in the, right, in the box on the lower right. Then I hit Enter, and it scales it exactly how much I need. You can see now this is exactly 412 millimeters. So hit spacebar, get my select tool, click out here to select away from everything, move this into place. You can see that now I have a picture where the distance between these two points is exactly 412 millimeters. That's the size I want, and that means everything in this picture is life size now. Okay, that was part one. In the next part, I'm going to go in and actually start drawing these holes for the motor and these holes where it's going to mount up. And I'm going to double check these holes in the motor because I know how big those should be just to make sure that my picture um, isn't distorted or warped in any way.